top table going into the final round of Swiss. Uh, Jem from last round with his uh, pretty awesome uh, Orpheum, protruding Orpheum Archon deck with D Shadows Grobnar. A uh, lot, uh, lot of control elements in his list. But uh, across from him is our friend Alfredo. Alfredo, uh, some people who play Destiny might uh, recognize him as one of the faces of the Starkiller base channel. Tells us he has a really good deck and he really wanted to feature on stream, so we've got him here. Both players, I believe, are undefeated going into this round. We see uh, Control of the Week for both players, Arise as well. Uh, no sweeper on Alfredo's side in the Dees house compared to Gateway of Dees or Gateway 2 Dees, two of them actually for Gem. And uh, going into the Mars uh, contingent of Alfredo's deck, there's another copy of Shatterstorm. <coughs> uh, and uh, as far as the Shadows, two Relentless Whispers, one Last Job, Magda the Rat, Urchin, two Silvertooth. All in all, very strong, very disruptive deck. So Alfredo was the first player. Started off with playing a the Terror. Always a good turn one play. Chem responds with a bunch of shadow cards. Silver Tooth, uh, Shadow Self there to protect the Silver Tooth. So back to uh, Alfredo playing Dees. First reaps with his terror and then plays three fates, effectively wrathing the board on his side. So I was a, a, a little bit wrong. I thought Alfredo didn't have any sweepers. Technically he doesn't, but in that situation, three fates does the job uh, well enough, I suppose. And then one of my favorite Dees creatures, Toxin, comes down. If you uh, let that thing... <clears throat> If you let that thing survive for a turn or two, it can really mess up your plans. There's a control of the week by Chem. So discarding the rise, playing the shuffles, forcing Alfredo to lose an amber there. And uh, Alfredo starts with Pandemonium. That Toxin got to survive for a turn. So now he's going to be able to uh, start reaping and discarding cards. So getting the amber, then capturing an amber. Uh, instead of reaping, actually, he just uses it to kill off the, the, uh, the shuffles. That's pretty good, actually. The value of uh, getting that uh, amber sucking card off the table is much a lot better than... Uh, than simply uh, reaping and discarding a random card. See a decent uh, Mars hand brewing in Alfredo's hand there. But uh, Chem's going to start with uh, lights out, returning the toxin. The uh, snake lifter, I think it's called, and a ghostly hand. Again, ghostly hand not really <laughs> basically ignoring the text on the card. They're just getting the two amber. Snake lifter didn't have any artifacts to steal. Still always a decent, decently good play. Alfredo might stick with Shadows for one more turn, see if he can draw a couple of more Mars cards in his hand before he starts playing those out. So he indeed does two Shadows, two Silver Tooths, and he's going to reap with them right away. That's going to put him in check. Uh, Chem, meanwhile, was in check. Spends a six Amber, gets uh, the first key of the game. Don't know if I see any... Well, I do see a... That might be a Magda the Rat in Chem's hand. You might consider playing that out to deny Alfredo the uh, the key forge this turn. I think if he does that, though, that that might that might be one of the only... Oh, instead, instead decides to go with Dees. There's a better play there with the Schuler because uh, it does prevent the the forge of the key on Alfredo's side, but also allows him to get two creatures into play. Uh, one of those creatures, the succubus, is going to really mess with Alfredo's draw until he can take care of it. So Alfredo's in this position where I guess he, he decides he wants to wait another turn before 
uh, calling Mars finally, but he's going to throw the silver tooth in front of the succubus. He's going to follow up with a poison wave that's going to kill everything except the, the Schuler. Wipes his own board, and that's going to put him back in check. Seven Amber. Chem, meanwhile, with a handful of Brobnar cards, he does still have access to that Magda the Rat, which is going to let him steal two Amber uh, and deny him the check again. But no, it goes with Brobnar instead. Stuns his own creature when he plays the Smash. And then he plays Crump. And a grenade squib punches his own <coughs> grenade squib, grenade snib rather, to force Alfredo to lose uh, two amber there. So that, that seemed a lot more uh, roundabout than simply playing out Magda the Rat, but I can also understand why he did it because that allows him to uh, play out a bunch of Broadmoor cards from his hand, refill his hand, maybe uh, allows, if, when he does decide to play the Magda the Rat, he's going to have a bunch more Shadows cards to play. Fredo responding with the sample collection card. Puts an enemy creature into your ar archives for each key your opponent is for it. So with just the one key, that's just the one uh, one creature that just got archived. Probably going to stay there uh, <laughs> for the entire game. I don't think Alfredo has a lot of other things that ar archive cards in his deck. Now he has a decent. <clears throat> now he has a decent uh, Mars board. With the mother gun active. I think at least two Martian cards in his hand for that mother gun. The Ulik Mega Mouth, not going to be doing a whole lot with a non Mars creature in play, but the John Smith's at least going to let him reap twice. Chem is going to deny him the, uh, the access to that Mars house, though, with the play of Control the Weak, followed by Gateway to Dees. Not sure what house he called, though. Follows it up with the Succubus. I think that's his, like, Third Succubus play that game? The third? He has two in his deck. Yeah, he, I think it may have gotten bounced or something like that. So, uh, Alfredo with the Martian uh, house again. Deals two damage with the Mother Gun. Follows it up with, uh, I think, Pheromones of some sort. What are they called? Combat Pheromones. All these good Mars cards, man. Why don't my decks never have this? I know. Oh. Well, sorry, with the exception of Mother Gun. Every deck of mine has Mother Gun. Well, yeah. You don't have the multiple Mother Gun? No, I don't have the double Mother Gun deck. I have, like, some like super heavy uh, artifacts, and it's like, okay, I have all the artifacts in that need Mars creatures, or Mars cards, but they're all in play. Yeah. So there's the Magda the Rat finally. It's still denying. It's like it's like the third or fourth turn in a row that Alfredo tried to get check and then uh, got denied by Chem's uh, deck. So Magda followed by Urchin followed by Hidden Stash. No, Hidden Stash? Yeah, yeah, that's the one that archives a card. Takes him up to seven or eight. Yeah, it looks like uh, eight Amber. Not enough, uh, not enough cards in, uh, not enough Martian cards rather in Alfredo's hand to kill off the Magda. Still not enough. That's uh, he needs something else. He as needs well. four, yeah. His hand's all these cards too. Oh no, I just mean like killing Magda still doesn't deny the key. So no, that's not. There's not a particular rush. Is there relentless whispers in his hand? Relentless whispers just deals two, right? Two damage once. Yes. So Gongoozle, going to choose to take out, even though it doesn't get the effect. Alfredo with the Gongoozle. Just a straight up punch if you don't, uh, if you kill the creature off, that yeah. is. Follows it up with a Toxin. And a Control of the Week. Do you know what house they call? He hasn't decided yet, but... It's so whatever house he doesn't I can, I can play next you, turn. I can tell you, yeah. I can. Well, no, it'll be the one that he does play next turn. 
It's like oh, you, sorry, yeah, you're, you're forced to play that turn. Yes, um, I, I can tell you what's happening in the game beside these guys. Oh yeah, for, I had much better we, audio on that game than we, this game. We were talking about that uh, in round one or something like that. When you have a lot like two players that have experience in card games, they generally right. can do a lot of nonverbal communication. So, yeah, I missed what he called, but he's playing now to rise. So he, so he just got the terror back with a rise, or did he discard it? <clears throat> anyway, using the combat pheromones to use two Mars cards. Okay, I guess he was confused about how what what the, the Omni he called. Yeah. yeah. Mind Warper uh, forcing Urchin to capture uh, an Amber from his own side. Yeah. Of course, that means that when that Urchin dies, the Amber actually goes to Alfredo. But despite all that control, that's going to be Chem's second key. It's going to put him at two keys. Alfredo's still looking to get his four first key, but every time he... Uh, Every time he hits six or more, Chen has exactly the right control pieces to, to guess, deny him. I guess Jen was a, a Netrunner player at some point. I think he's or just borrowing uh, Alfredo's oh, tokens. Oh, Alfredo. That makes sense. Yeah, we were talking Alfredo. He has every single Team Covenant token for yeah. every single LCG, I think. Except for Destiny. Yeah. Is he considering Gateway to Beast? No. What? Well, it Actually, might be. You know what? This, that, this might not be a bad time to play it. Like, well, he's not like he's only giving one back with Magda. Yeah. So, well, he is giving one back to uh, two back, right? No, so, he's only got one amber. Right, but the urchin is going to return the one. Sure, as well. that's fine. But I mean, the urchin amber is not one that he's considering that he's going to hold for very long. So, does uh, Chem have Charette in his deck? Yes. So here's the Relentless Whispers. Deals two to the Urchin, finishing it off. Follows it up with a Bad Penny, and uh, I'm not sure which that one is. Is that one the Poison guy? Skirmish, Elusive, uh, something? Yeah, Moon Cursor. Poison? Moon Cursor, thank you. Yeah, today's been interesting. I, I, I have not gone out of my way to read all the cards. I've only been It's only been what I've been playing against, so... There's definitely a bunch of things that I have not. The, the shadows seen creatures today. suffer from the same problem as the. Uh, was it the the sanctum? The, they kind of all look the same, and they have like these like sneaky names. So. So there's a gateway. Well, Fredo, Fredo's starting to get back into it a little bit. Yeah, after f forging those two quick keys, quick on. Uh, Chem's side, he hasn't been able to get anything else uh, going really. So, Steeler Souls, followed by Tolis, followed by the that demon that uh, moves damage around. I forget what it's called. Guardian Demon. Thank you. And then uh, plays Control the Weak, I think forcing him to call Dece again. Man, these guys have been kind of on point with their Control the Weak calls. Well, I mean, he knows that he was only able to play one Dees card last turn. That's like, true. Like, there have been some times where he knows that he doesn't get, he hasn't drawn very many, so he's not going to have a lot. See, these are the, exactly the kind of things I, I, I don't pay attention to, oh. so. <laughs> I mean, the first time he may have got lucky because he was basing it on what was in the discard, but. Uh, Triple weeps. Back to Jim. So if he wants to take his archived card. Wow. All Brobnars. Now, I'm not sure if he... Well, he has that unguarded camp in his hand. So if he, if, he has, if he has a bunch of creatures, he can use it, right, to steal... But he, uh, it's in excess of your opponent. So he has to actually get more than his oh, opponent. Oh, creatures in excess. Okay. I guess he's just using it. Yeah, he's just trying to cycle his hand out. Makes sense. But that's gonna let him. That's gonna let Alfredo forge key number two right here, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Both players are on uh, match point, so to speak.
So, Stealer of Souls purges the creature. He gains one. And he gets an additional one off Tolos. So each time a creature is destroyed, your, the opponent gains one. Yep. And then look at this combo. He's going to move the two damage with the Guardian Demon by reaping, I guess. Yeah. He's got to take it. Yep. And then uh, he's going to reap with the Tolos as well. Yeah. So four Amber. Uh, no other Dece cards in his hand. He's got a hand of Dece in his hand. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, hand of Dece, yes. In his hand. Not very useful right now, though. No, but I mean, if it's going to be a threatening move by uh, by Jem here, he ha can pull it back a little bit. But it's interesting that he put the War Drummer in a range if he wants to kill. T oh, no, Tolis Col is still el elusive, so. Well, he could use Gauntlet of Command, right, to kill the Tolis? Yeah. You could stun it, too. Yep, stunning the Guardian D. That's a big seems thing. like a good move. There's that rare Brobnar creature. I don't know what it is. Rogue Ogre, I think. Rogue Ogre. At the end of your turn, if you played exactly one card... Oh, okay. Eh. So that's a fight and then trigger elusive, right? Yeah. So is he going to finish it off with a war drummer? Well, it would make sense the other way around, right? Yeah. It's weird. Maybe he sequenced that wrong? I can maybe realize that now. He's like, he's now like, oh yeah, I should have done this the other way. I mean, unless it's still, it's still, it's still a trade you're going to make. Yeah. I mean, he could have done it the other way. It would have been more effective. But. And uh, so Jam yeah. Jane's one from the loot the bodies. That stun's going to prevent uh, Alfredo from just reaping twice here. Maybe just call some other house. Maybe Shadows, if you have uh, two cards that have Amber on them. Seems like a play to make, right? Going shadows. Yeah. Starts with the customs office. Um, a little bit too late with the two artifacts. I, I think Chem has more uh, artifacts in his deck, right? Following it up with Bad Penny. And here's, uh, I don't know what the name of that card One is. One last job. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It purges it and then you uh, steal. Yeah. It's going to put him on a uh, match point here. Finally, a good use for Bad Penny. They're just are d determining whether something is destroyed when it's purged. Okay. Uh, it's not. Right. So Fredo has check as well, uh, check again. Yeah, Chem has a charrette in his hand though, so he can prevent this. He also has. Um, oh no, that's not what I'm thinking. It Another is. gateway. Yeah, you gotta play a charrette here, I think. <clears throat> a ghostly hand, if you can steal more than that. Shaffles, that's gonna be pretty good too. Man, I Chem, have, Chem I may have like reap and then. Um, Chem's deck's really strong. It wow. is pretty good. I might have done the gateway play this turn just to. Well, now he has. Uh, so it discards the gateway. That uh, is an advantage. What was the thing he discarded? Uh, he, the hysteria. Hysteria. Right. Yeah. Seal one. That's a good start. With the Urchin. Seeker Needle. Relentless Whispers. So, uh, he's going to have to wait a turn, but... Um, oh, I guess, yeah. Killing the Shaffles is a good idea, too. Oh, 
Oh, there's some Magda the Rat too, so uh, <laughs> it's hilarious. Magda the Rat still. Urchin steal another one. Oh, ghostly hand. Oh, steal. And then the, one time when the one time the ghostly hand actually does not Now he's at, uh, he's at check. Alfredo does have his own Magda, but um, it's going to be awkward. Because how long is it going to live? Actually, Alfredo could also call Dees. He's got the hand of Dees to kill yeah. the Magda. Um, He's got to kill the Magda. Yeah, but I don't know if there's any other other things he can play from his hand. So even if he kills the Magda, right, then uh, Chen just plays... plays uh, he well, plays no. Dees or Shadows again and just uh, reaps twice. Sure, but I mean, he has to try to avoid losing right here. Well, I'm saying there's two ways to do it. The, the first way is to call Dees and play Hand of Dees. The second way is to play call Shadows and use Urchin and then play Magda the Rat. Oh, so playing your own Magda? Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the, playing Shadows means you also get to use Secret Needle to kill yeah. Urchin. It's, the charrette was the problem, right? Like the the only thing is like, what combination of creatures can he kill on Chem's side to prevent him from just reaping twice next turn? Oh, it's also this necklace. No, the spy master. What's that? Spy master. So he did go with the hand of peace. Cleared the stun on uh, Guardian Demon. So then next turn, I guess. I guess then next turn, what he can do is then just play out his own Magda the Rat and steal two more Amber if uh, Chem tries to gain two more. Ooh, that's brutal. Because that kills his urchin. He gains one amber from that. Then he's just going to reap twice, I guess. He could play Relentless Whispers to gain another amber. Yeah, if he reaps twice, then that just puts him out of uh, Magda the Rat range, right? He made, yeah. He's going to use the ability of the Spy Master to fight with the ogre. He doesn't steal with the urchin. Is he just worried about... Uh, what's he worried about? Oh, Shatterstorm. Uh, um, okay, well, I mean, that... I didn't even see that in his hand. Then he's going to Mega Mother Gun. Here's the big Mars turn. Another Mother Gun. A crystal hive. Eh. I don't know. Do you keep the crystal hive for another big... Oh, look at that. A maverick I didn't realize it was a maverick uh, guardian... Um... Oh, sorry. Champion NFL. That's the taunt guy, right? Uh, I don't remember. That's not there. Oh, double oh, loot. So he can, uh, no, he gains two here? No, no, he just discarded them. Ah. I think so because he doesn't. Yeah, it looks like we're back to Alfredo. He's got a bunch more Mars creatures he in his hand. He couldn't kill too. anything. I guess, he, yeah, he could have, but. Oh, we're no, I think he played them both. All right. Then Gauntlet. Mm. 
Punch. Yeah, he played both Luther bodies. That's how he got four. Yeah, I know, I know. Punch. Sorry, I... I Wait, how did he reap reap? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, did he play Brothers in Arms or something? Or? What story play what? I don't know. The, the pace is played super fast, but there's that uh, Mega the Rat finally on Alfredo's side. Uh, again, taking Chem out of check. Now he's got six, seven Amber. Is there anything in his hand, in Chem's hand? He has an Arise. I guess he can, oh, Gateway to D, steal the two back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now it's on Alfredo to have a, have a play. And then, yeah, Chem plays Control the Weak, forcing him to play a house that he Oh, steals another one. I think this is it for uh, for Alfredo. I mean, I've been wrong before, but... Uh, well, the Control of the Week, for sure. Yeah. Control of the Week, I think, seals the deal here. Well, no, no, no. That's no. not how it works. I mean, I don't think it matters. That's not how it works. It is not Gauntlet of Command. I guess you just play the Arise here, yeah. To try to get the, to get the Shaffles into your hand. And there's a Charette in there, too, right? Yeah. Charette, Shaffles, just completely choke Alfredo out of the game. Man, this, this is a very good, uh, very, it's a very good control deck that Chem has. So yeah, Shaffles, Charette, put him at nothing. Unless Alfredo somehow can get another Shatterstorm or something, I don't think, uh, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything here. That's a game. Those were two very uh, powerful decks, but like Chem just has so many ways of controlling his opponent's Amber. One of the few times that Ghostly uh, Ghostly Hand actually stole an Amber from his opponent.